Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we are back. Yes, we are back. So this topic of the video, which I get a lot of uh, requests to do this video, this will be part two is narcissists and STDs. So ladies and gentlemen, as we all know, um, we need to be careful out there because a lot of STDs flow in all type. You know, you have, you know, especially the big one, like, you know, AIDS, HIV and this is why I'm doing this video because uh, I get a lot of requests for this um, and my beliefs on this that has something to do with narcissists. Um, my belief in from evidence of what most people that I get requested to do this video for is because and what a lot of people you guys know ladies and gentlemen um, narcissists I believe is the cause of most STDs you know, in the spread of AIDS and HIV. I, the B, for the one of the facts is that especially the, the somatic narcissist. And the reason I say this, especially for the somatic narcissist is because the somatic narcissist is, well, most narcissists, is, uh, they live off of impulse. So uh, they will do things just off of impulse because they feel, they react, they don't think. So they don't have a cautious mind. So, um, think so so let's get that out the way and then especially the somatic narcissists for one because they are the sexual narcissists you know you have the cerebral narcissist and you have the somatic narcissist the somatic narcissist is all about sex their body uh what they can get with their body having sex what they could do with their body they gym fanatics and fitness and workout uh 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 uh, uh things and uh and Sabrio narcissist is more about, you know, the mind, intelligence of being smarter than you and smarter than everybody. It's all about being intelligent and knowing things. So with that being said, so just to get that out the way. So with that is that um, you could pretty much come to the conclusion. And plus my experience and what I uh, learned from other people is that narcissists are the cause of most STDs. The reason is for because of the way they act off impulse and then the way the somatic, uh, somatic narcissist is. Uh, narcissists, have, they like to have sex and they don't have sex with anyone. They have low standards. They don't, um, and the fact that narcissists think things that, they think things can't happen to them. You know, they think that they are zipped from normal things that's happened to them. Like, you know, we won't think like, well, let me be careful because I'm not exempt from me catching the STD or AIDS or HIV like that, right? Narcissists don't think like this. For one, they really don't care. And for two, they think that something like that can't happen to them because they have this ideal that uh, they are better than everything and everybody. It's like, well, how can that happen to me? That can't happen to me. I'm just all of that. Like, you know, uh, that's for other people. That's not for me. This is one of the reasons why this happens to them and because they are they the fact that they live off of you know impulse and the fact that they are very risky narcissists are very risky they live they have very risky you know and dangerous behavior you know they they do a lot of risky behavior and, and dangerous so this causes them to take chances with people and take chances and just do anything they are very hyper sexual tensual attention and then and, and, and they will have sex just off impulse with anybody and anything and they will do it and and these are people i mean i'm telling you they will have sex with a different person every day you know and th this is how they do this is them and this is why stds are spread a lot because of the risky behavior and the dangerous behavior narcissists take on every day and they are uh, uh and they cheat a lot the ones the narcissists that always cheat the ones that cheat they will cheat every day all day they always have an, uh, some you know and they'll have plenty of partner lined up and if you want a narcissist supply harem of the ex they'll just keep rotating sleeping with person with person with person with person so they just going back sleeping with person with person with person with person with person and they don't care to use protection at all they don't care to use protection at all so that's another reason why as well. And then with the fact that they think that this can't happen to them. So this really caused them not to be um, cautious at all because they think this can't happen to them. So it's very risky and dangerous, uh, these people. 
And so let me tell you guys a story about, uh, so this ex-narcissist that I used to deal with for like about five, seven years, um, she would, she would, you know, she would always do the, 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 you know, the, the three phase cycle of dealing with narcissists, you know, the, uh, love bombing, the devaluing, then the discard, uh, she will always, it will always be that cycle all the time, often and often. it will be like a numerous times a year that this cycle keeps going on. And she will always want to go to the club every weekend. And so what I found out is that every time she goes to the club, she's looking for a new supply, new sex partner. So she is sleeping with everybody. So she's going to the club every weekend, you know, Friday night, Saturday night. She's at the club. She's at hotels. She just going out partying, getting drunk, getting high, and just having a good time. And she's sleeping with new supply. I mean, this is while she's dating me and she's just out there, you know, and she would do this at the discard. Sometimes it will be discard and I don't even know, you know, I would feel it and know it because it's the weekends. She won't go out, you know, on the weekends because if she was trying to win back my graces and get me back at supply because she understood that, you know, I understood what she was doing. And, you know, I didn't accept that, you know, um, I didn't care about her going out having a good time, but I understood what she was doing when she was going out. And it was almost like she couldn't help it. I got to that term till I realized she couldn't help it. And she proven that to me because how she would just, just sit there like, Okay, you're mad or upset, but you know, ain't nothing I could do about it. I can't help it. That's basically what I got from that. So when she would go out, I would know like, you know, it's just time for me to not even deal with her. And so, so what she started to do once she realized that and she knew that I understood and she kept getting caught out on lies. And of course, sometimes she would even tell me and I know she would tell me just to get me mad and piss me off. So. <clears throat> Um, the cars hurt and pain to me. So she would go out and things like that, the club all the time. And she would not go for like, say two, three weeks to get me back to her graces to make everything cool. Or maybe even a month, you know, um, make, you know, just so things could be cool with us. But when she wanted to go, she would discard me because she was going to act out. She was going to have fun have sex and just get drunk get high and just party and that's when i knew it was over because she would kind of like act funny when that time was coming to where she just wanted to go out and have fun and party so when that time was coming i already understood what it was and i didn't have no problem with that because i didn't condone that you know um so this is what happened she will discard me i won't hear from her and out of the blue she'll be calling me and she will always call me and she'll be at like, I'm at the doctor, this sad puffy face over the phone you always hear. And they come to find out she was always have a STD. And I thank God that she never gave me nothing. And it was because she, uh, she always did this stuff when she discarded me. See, every time she discarded me is when she wanted to just go out and just run wild you know um so i wouldn't even be dealing with her you know so even when so even when she you know before she got the std uh, std i wouldn't even be dealing with her and so then after she would get it she'd be at the hospital or the doctor is taking care of it and i still wouldn't deal with her afterwards so it kind of always saved me from me catching the std from her because she would go out and catch these STDs from risky behavior. And, and, and you know, she should be thinking, God, she only, she caught stuff that you could just take a shot or a pill, you know, and take some pills for a couple of weeks and to get, get, you know, get rid of it. She always caught the stuff that you could get rid of. But that stuff always jucked me out. So I will really just stop dealing with her for a while because it just jucked me out. And she would just always, you know, come and be like, she got an STD and, you know, and I'm like, ah, well, I'm not dealing with you. So, you know, what that got to do with me? But she always, you see how she used me for supplies. She would treat me wrong, catch an STD and call me like I'm the one that gave it to her or something. It's like, 
uh, call the person that you got it from. Like, you don't don't call and talk to me about it. It has nothing to do with me. You know, we haven't been dating, you know, so it's, it just leave me out of it, you know? You know, it's not my problem. We're not dating right now. We're not having sex or anything, so it has nothing to do with me. But she needed me for supply because of the person that I am. So she couldn't get that from nowhere else, so she wanted to suck it from me. So... That's my experience with narcissists. I got other experience with narcissists and STDs, but um, that's one that, you know, but that's like from like other people's situations. But this one that's personal with me that, you know, I wanted to explain and, and talk to you guys about. This is part one, but I'm, I'm going to go to another part two because, and it's a lot of people that email me that want me to do this because they want me to talk about it because this is a very academic academic with narcissists spreading STDs. They know that, and one thing about us, they know they have it, and they'll give it to you on purpose because misery loves company. They want to give you it because they have it. This is why you got to be careful, especially when dealing with narcissists, because they know they have these diseases, STDs, and they want to give it to you. You know, I've seen stories with narcissists be having AIDS and HIV and give it to people. They some of them born with it and they'll give it and they'll 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 give it to you. I seen a story where this woman caught HIV from this guy and he never and he knew he had it when since he was with her because he was born with AIDS. You know, no, it was HIV. He was born with HIV. He was born with it. He had it his whole life and he never told her. And when she found out she got it, he tried to deny it. And then she showed, gave him the proof of how she found out he had it. Then he told her, but never said sorry that he gave it to her. Then to come to find out, which is very scary, and this was a documentary, and you know, and so to come to find out that when she was explaining their relationship, she was talking about how he would always be sleeping around with all these other girls and cheating on her. And I'm like, wow. So he's born with ST, he was born with a HIV. And he's cheating. Not only is he gave it to her without telling her, he's going around giving it to all these other women without even telling them. And I'm just like, that is so sick. But this is, and you can't tell me he's not a narcissist. You can't say a person like that ain't pure evil and ain't a narcissist. You get what I'm saying? So this is why, this is why this, I know this is important for me to do it because I understand. And a lot of subscribers and viewers of my channel, they, email me and leave comments like to do a, a, a video on this and so um this is part one i'm gonna do another video um because one of my subscribers want me to do um she want me to do a a, a video about her situation with an std and the narcissist so you know i'm not going to mention her name or identity or anything like that i'm gonna just tell a story because she gave me permission to she wanted me to so um i'm gonna do a part two on that this is uh, going to be part one. So, yes, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, you know, we're back. And um, for those who would like to email me, if you want to email me back and forth, you know, about your situation or anything, you can email me at Kevin Sullivan, YouTube at Yahoo.com. Um, I take I do one on one phone um, sessions. So if anybody you want to, you know, call me and do you know one-on-one -on -one phone conversations you know um you could book appointment you can book an appointment you can um email me too for inquiries about that at kevin sullivan youtube at yahoo.com email me about that and also do you know um if you want to book um one-on-one -on -one, you know you know counseling or whatever um from um via um skype uh you know a video chat i do that as well so just email me and let me know at my email and it's all fine um, i want to thank you guys for watching my videos i want to thank my subscribers people who leave comments share and like i want to thank those for uh those for you who uh donate i really appreciate your donations thank you very much and for those who want to donate you can click the link the donation link is a donating um button at the top of my home page and there's a donate link in the, in the description box of every video. Um, that's how you could donate if you want to. Um, and you could donate in US dollars or any other dollars. So no matter what country or continent you're from, you could donate in that, that um, 
currency that you are that you have so also uh, ladies and gentlemen if you haven't if you don't know by now I have a new channel it's called Kevin Sullivan live um, this that channel is for all the live videos um, so this channel was only gonna be for you know videos like this that I have now so this channel was just for the videos you know the content videos um, the Kevin Sullivan live channel is gonna be for all my live videos you know whether I'm going live from randomly anywhere I'm at you know um, whether I'm going live um, whether I'm going live uh, I, I gotta get me a um, a streaming um, a, a streaming thing so I could do live streams so that's what the live Kevin, Kevin Sullivan live channel was for too for me to also do live streams so you know I could do live videos you know and communicate with you guys you know through the, through the uh, chat and stuff like that and also when I do live streams we could also do um, people people could call in and talk to me live on live streams and also too so I could do question and a uh, Q&A's on live stream as well so that's what that channel was for so everybody go and if you have it subscribe to my live channel Kevin Sullivan live if you want the link for it um, the link is in some of my videos so um, I haven't put it in all my videos yet I haven't put the link to my to my new channel and all of my videos yet because um you know i gotta do them all by one by one so i ain't finished yet but i will finish but it's in some of them so it was at the, like the beginning of my videos like you know um no at the at the latest of the video so watch the go to the latest of the last videos they all in there i didn't get to the beginning yet so i'm almost i'm probably like halfway done maybe but i'll make sure it's in all of them but also too if you go to my home page on this channel next to the uh, donate button you'll see the YouTube button and you click that that's the link to my new channel Kevin Sullivan live so make sure you guys subscribe to that channel as well because once I hit 100 subscribers on my Kevin Sullivan live channel um, I can go live so as soon as I hit 100 subscribers I'm gonna go live on that channel so um, right now I got like 80 subscribers on that channel so I can't go live yet but as soon as I hit 100 subscribers I'm gonna go live on that channel um, Thank you guys um, for listening and watching into my channel. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, everybody, happy spring. We're back. And uh, everybody have a great day. Stay narcissistic free.